Warning! The following program contains scenes that may not be appropriate for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Are you ready now? I got to freak it out! Say you ready now, I'm not gonna say it again! Say you ready Welcome everyone to CWE Wrestling, a very, very special championship edition of CWE Wrestling. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon, ringside. And Kevin, we're kicking things off tonight with Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. What a physical specimen this guy still is to this day and age, Dave Petro. He is huge. He is intimidating. He is destructive. And most of all, he's angry. Absolutely. And he won the right. Well, not really won the right. He is getting a championship opportunity tonight because the champion, the one, two, three, proven television champion, Tyler Colton, earned this opportunity, earn, if, if maybe air quotes is not the right word for this one, because he defeated Hotshot Danny Duggan, and he gets to defend his championship against Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. Tyler Colton, he knows that he can add Scott Steiner to his already impressive resume. He uh, knows uh, that that would be a huge, huge victory on and, and I must say Danny Duggan lost that match he was cost that match by Jimmy Jacobs a man that hotshot Danny Duggan will face later on tonight and defend the CWE championship that matchup isn't just champion versus challenger anymore Dave Petro. No. that matchup is very very personal what a show we have tonight oh and Dave Petro you know what just hit me? You know what just occurred to me? What? You know what just popped in my head? Tyler Colton, a former tag team champion yes. with Mendelo, one half of MX. Current 123 approved .ca television Correct. champion. Correct. And a man who holds a recent victory over the current CWE champion. He's a he's a triple crown champion as far as I'm concerned. Okay, you're kind of that had been a title match. You're stretching things a little bit, Kevin Cannon. But I'm not going to take anything away from the ability of the Blue-Eyed Idler, Tyler Colton, our television champion. In fact, the man recently featured on Canoe Sports Slam Wrestling website, a great in-depth profile on the career so far of the Blue-Eyed Idler, Tyler Colton. I saw that. And the amazing thing is about this young gentleman is that's only the tip of the iceberg. This guy's just getting started. The sky is the limit for this young competitor. Absolutely. This match brought to you by... Precious Therapies Vitamin Store, located number 14 on 3rd Avenue North in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Call 306-782-8529. 24 years old, the championship, he's, he's held championships in territories all over the world, and I'm not taking anything away from the, from the abilities of the veteran, former world heavyweight champion, Scott Steiner, former C WCW TV champion as well. He's got he's tag team, team champion, champion, NCAA wrestling champion, Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner. He is in the CWE for one reason: is to capture gold, and he's not wasting any time going to work on Tyler Colton. Usually, Tyler Colton's the one to jump yeah. a guy when he's got his back turned, but 
Big Papa Pump beat him to the punch here today, literally. Now, we know Tyler Colton has stepped into the ring in, in, the, in the past against really, really tough opponents. But what do you think his frame of mind is now against a guy with the experience, the guy with the resume, the guy with the pedigree of Scott Steiner? Well, about a year ago, we saw Tyler Colton face Rhino, and you got to yep. think he learned a lot from that matchup. And Rhino and Scott Steiner have a similar... Uh, offense, if you will, a similar way of attacking their opponents. I really think Tyler Colton's been watching a lot of videotape from his own performance in that match and of what Scott Steiner's been doing in the ring as of late as well. That has to be his strategy. That has to be his approach going into this match. Absolutely. Oh, shoots him off the ropes. Coming back. Oh, what a tremendous shoulder block by Big Papa Pump Scott Steiner, the man from Michigan. And, and Tyler, Tyler he bailing out. Part of that. Absolutely bailing out. Also on tonight's show, Kevin Cannon... Tag team act. Well, could be a handicap match. I think it's going to be a handicap match. Pain and punishment. I guess the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce cha challenged pain and punishment. Antonio Scorpio, Mr. Incredible to a match. And from what I understand, the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce is trying to find a tag team partner, but thus far has been unsuccessful. Nobody wants to team up with the former champ, Robbie Royce, and get in there against those two bruisers, those two destroyers, Mr. Incredible and Antonio Scorpio. And I can't say I blame anyone in that locker room for refusing to stand in his corner. I did have an opportunity to talk to Robbie Royce before, and he said he had one more phone call to make. And I don't know, he wouldn't give me any more information on that one, so... Uh, I think he's going to call Brian Rich. Or he could be calling for help. <laughs> Brian Rich. That's your bet for the partner, but he says he's got something up his sleeve, and we will see if he's able to put together a tag team partner for tonight. Pain and punishment. Antonio Scorpio, Mr. Incredible, going to face the pissed off people, Robbie Royce, and maybe a partner, maybe not a partner, that match later on tonight. Well, I got to say, I give Robbie Royce credit because he knew better. He did not even attempt to reach out to the Cannon Cartel to source him with a partner. He knew what that answer would be. Back to the matter at hand, Scott Steiner now with a tremendous chop to the chest of the blue-eyed idol, Tyler Colton, your one 2 3 ca television champion, and what a clothesline, almost beheads him. Just shoves him into those ropes, too, and then yeah. takes up, his... Up, oh, up, this down. down we go. Oh, boy. And, and, Scott that, and now, off. he's just basically taking this as a bit of a workout. Tyler Colton is a formidable opponent, love him or hate him, and the big, and the big man, big pop-up up, Scott Steiner, just dumps him outside the ring, and this isn't good. He's coming out after him. Uh-oh. Scott Steiner is probably more dangerous outside the yep. ring where he's got chairs and weapons and tables and doors, and I don't even know where they're going. Oh. But he can... Look at oh. that. Oh. oh, he's staring the place down. He just leveled Tyler Colton into the lighting stand, and as the thing was falling and perhaps certain doom to some of the fans, he caught it, and now he's going to work on Tyler Colton with a chair, and ladies and gentlemen, I think our cameraman bailed out. I think he damn near had a heart attack, Dave Petro. I think he's done for the night. Scott We're gonna have Steiner a bit of technical difficulty. Scott, Scott Steiner's not done. This is not a no disqualification match, but I don't think I wanna be the referee that would disqualify Scott Steiner. No, if so, you better be able to run real fast, referee. Tyler Colton is getting it. Light standards, tables, and now chairs. Oh man, Scott Steiner. I gotta give the guy credit. Saved maybe a couple of fans at ringside as that, <laughs> as that lighting stander was falling. That's gonna make the hot day. Those are hot day, Patrick. You know how much heat comes off one of those? You get burnt from one of those. We might see that on Botchermania in the future. <laughs> oh my. Oh, it just into the post. Tyler Colton does not know where he is right now. He is dazed. He is out of it. And Scott Steiner has no issues giving an even further beam to him, knocking even more sense out of him. And the referee is powerless to do anything. I think he might be starstruck. I don't mean, like I say, I'm not going to be the guy. I'm not going to be the referee to disqualify Scott Steiner. Absolutely not. But that seems to be Scott Steiner's modus operandi, fighting outside the ring, concession stands, souvenir stands. Outside the ring, hitting guys with hot dog carts, everything in the world. You, you're not just wrestling a man, not just wrestling a former world heavyweight champion. You're wrestling anything in the arena, anything that's not nailed down. Oh, yeah. And even if it is nailed down, he'll probably rip it off. He has. He's been known to do that. Shoots Tyler Colton off the ropes. Reversal. Scott Steiner comes back. 
No, no back body drop. A big forearm and now up and a suplex. Wow. Scott Steiner is a suplex machine, ladies and gentlemen. Hooks the leg one, two. Tyler Colton able to kick out of the count of two. And Tyler Colton, he doesn't know where he is right now, Kevin Cannon. No, he is dazed. He's pulling that referee yeah. in between he wants Scott some help. Steiner and himself. He's just getting a breather he can here. The referee, referee's having a real tough time in this matchup, Dave Petro. Absolutely, and it's, it's Tyler Colton wants no part of this, and now pulls the referee, pushes him aside, and Tyler Colton resorting to a dirty tactic, rolls him up now. One, two, Scott Steiner able to kick out after he basically was violated. But the damage has been done. Tyler Colton is in pain. Tyler Colton, Colton has taken a beating. Tyler Colton is hurting. You know what? It would be very easy for Tyler Colton just to bail out, take the count out loss, save his championship, but I gotta admire the fact that he's still going toe to toe with Scott Steiner. That's the kind of competitor that Tyler Colton is. He is. Love him or hate him, as I said before, and I tell you what, he flaunts the rules, he breaks the rules, has disdain for the fans, but I gotta give him a gut check time, and he's standing the test. Tyler Colton now, Ugh. wow. How many people can say that they've socked Scott Steiner in the face with a closed hand fist like that and lived to tell about it? Tyler Colton now taking it to Big Papa Pump. Scott Steiner kicked to the back of the neck of the big man from Michigan and now picks him up. Snapmare. And what's. Oh, and another kick to the back. A Big Papa Pump. Scott Steiner pin attempt. Doesn't hook the leg. Able to get a two count on Scott Steiner. Now going with the front face lock right in the middle of the ring, gonna wear down the big man after he's been devastated. And he's kicked him in that back of the neck, those nerves in the shoulder area of the back, and now applying the pressure with that front face lock. And able to put use some of his body weight now at some of the position, as you see, putting some more pressure on Scott Steiner. And this is what you gotta do against a big man like Scott Steiner. You gotta ground him, you gotta take the legs out from under him, you gotta make him your level, your size, which is laying flat on his back. Want to remind everybody we make a return to Rookie Sports Bar May the 27th. You're still the king of rookies, aren't you? Absolutely. Are you going to defend that crown on May the 27th, Friday night? You'll have to stay tuned to cwbcanada.ca for match announcements. Scott Steiner now able to get back to his feet. Trying to get back to his feet. Tyler Colton preventing that. That's a great strategy to try to keep the big man down. Oh, and a big elbow to the midsection of Tyler Colton. Another big elbow, a third. Tyler Colton still holding on. No, he's able to get Scott Steiner. Shoots him off the ropes. Reversal, Tyler Colton. Steiner off the ropes. Oh, delivers an elbow slash chop. And now gets a two count on big Papa Pump Scott Steiner in his quest for the 123Approved.ca television championship. This is by far the biggest matchup ever held for the 123Approved.ca television champion championship since its inception at bar none and this is a title that bobby collins has held before and i will go on record as saying that dave petro that's very high praise for the blue eyed Isler, tyler colton again gaining the respect of a lot of fans in the cwe territory and a lot of the wrestlers too as he goes up to the top he's looking at that big moonsault here he goes and oh. scott steiner oh my did you see the elevation kevin cannon he almost hit the rafters and perhaps maybe that added elevation allowed scott steiner the mere seconds to get out of the way and now scott steiner shaking off some of the effects of those kicks and that front face lock now it's a race to see what man can get back to his feet yeah, yeah. and it looks like scott steiner is the man to get back to his feet and this is not good for the blue eyed adder tyler colton as now scott steiner goes to work chops Wow. Right to the chest, you heard that all the way to Burden, Manitoba. Off the ropes, elbow, oh, right to the face! And another clothesline. Just bulldozes him over. A third clothesline coming up. Scott Steiner now. Hard into the turnbuckles, those Tyler Colton. And look at this. Suplex coming up. No, Tyler Colton hanging on for deal life. Oh, he got him. Oh, it doesn't help. He got him. One, two, oh! Was that it? No, I just a him. two I count. Thought he had him. I thought we had a new champion, Kevin Cannon. Tyler Colton kicking out as close as close gets. What a match. Television championship on the line. Scott Steiner versus Tyler Colton. Scott Steiner with a big chop to the blue eyed idol. Colton able to reverse. No! Oh, the referee got it. The referee got it. And a belly to belly. 
right over Scott Steiner's head. He launches him across the ring. And good thing for that third rope, that bottom rope where Tyler Colton could have been on the arena floor. And Scott Steiner now going over to the fallen referee, trying to wake him up, getting his attention. And look, his back is turned, and Tyler Colton might take advantage of the situation. No! Steiner next to clothesline, but look at that! DDT! Oh, and Steiner is out cold. And so is the referee. Nobody to count the There is no here. referee able to make the count. Tyler Colton now tries to pin Scott Steiner, but the referee is out cold. And Tyler Colton now trying to wake up the referee, Michael Draven, who is out cold after being cold caught. Inadvertently cold caught. And what is Tyler Colton doing? Is he going out? Is he going to find another referee? No, he's done. He's, he's, no! Oh, he's got the belt. He's got the championship belt. He's got belt. the championship belt. He took it from the timekeeper. Well, it is his title. It's his to do whatever. Oh, look at this! Who's look at ATM? this! A ATM, the former tag team partner of Tyler Colton, took the championship belt away from him. And Scott Steiner back to his feet, ducks the clothesline, ducks another one. Oh, it plants him. Absolutely plants Tyler Colton. And he's saying it's all done. I know exactly what's coming up Oh, here. the Steiner recliner. We're going to see it. Will the referee recover? Because this is a submission maneuver. This the referee is, is awake. He's coming over too. He's saying no. He's saying Tyler no. Tyler Colton he's is okay. saying no. He's okay. No, he, no he gave up. He tapped. He gave up. We have a new champion. Absolutely correct. New one, two, three. Approved that television champion. Big pop up pop. Scott Steiner! Wow, what a match! When we come back, Dave Petro, Robbie Royce, time is ticking. D-Day is here. He's got to find himself a partner. Pain and punishment against the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce when we come back. Back in the locker room area, Antonio Scorpio. We'll get to you in just a second. But Mr. Incredible, you are fresh off a very controversial win over the pissed off pit bull, Robbie Royce. Whoa, 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 what do you mean controversial? There's nothing controversial about that. Q, let him know. Man, that sucker better watch his mouth. See, Robbie Royce, he got in the ring with a real man. Not a little pretty pit bull. He got in the ring with the man that puts everybody down with the black hammer. And if that's controversial, and I guess we did our job. You can bring anybody to the dance, but are they really man enough to get knocked out by the black hammer? You just saw it. Now you know what? I seen all those little tag teams out there in CWE, and they was <laughs> chomping at the bit to get the world tag team titles, right? But they don't understand. The only thing they gonna get it's pain and punishment. And Scott Steiner, <laughs> I ain't forgot about you, sucker. If adventure is in you, Travelodge is for you. It was T minus one copy to Riley's trip when all of a sudden, another bionic beast in rebellion. Fortunately, this wasn't Riley's first rodeo. He knew just what to do. He also knew failure was not an option. Do you mind? I didn't mind. Nice job, Riles. Now, giddy up on out of here. Get the guaranteed best rates at Travelodge.com. Give your body the edge in one click with MusclesByMyers.com. We have sports supplements, vitamins and minerals for all lifestyles and levels of fitness. And call or email for free one-on-one -on -one guidance. Smart buyers shop at Myers and MusclesByMyers.com.
Welcome back to CWE Wrestling. Dave Petro, ringside Kevin Cannon joining me. Got my voice back after that <laughs> one, two, three. Approved got CA Television Championship match. New champion Scott Steiner in the ring. Pain and punishment. We've been talking about this, Kevin Cannon. They're facing the pissed off people, Robbie Royce. And Robbie Royce had to find a partner. And as of a few moments ago, was unsuccessful in his attempt to find a partner. I saw him back there sitting by himself. Here's Absolutely. his music. This is it. Older, older Robbie Royce music, but it's Robbie Royce's music. Never Wait, I, I, I kind of recognize that music. That's from a, like you said, from Probably days gone by. Yeah. That's fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Throwback night. For Isn't Robert that Royce. the music that Team Impact used to come out to? You don't think. You no. don't suppose. We, we saw ATM in that. Earlier? Yeah. He wasn't ready to wrestle. Wait a minute. Look, nobody's even coming out. That's it. The music has stopped. The fans are buzzing at ringside. I'm buzzing. That is Team Impact music. Uh-oh. You don't think. I think we're seeing a reunited team. Here comes Robbie Royce and ATM. Team Impact has been reformed, and they will take on pain and punishment. This is a bombshell. Robbie Royce has, has found, has sourced out his former partner, ATM. But you got to think there's a lot of bad blood between these two. Well, so there's been a lot of resolve their issues. But, that's, but there's been a lot of miles on running on that river and maybe the fence has been mended and maybe time has healed a wound here or two no atm lived under that shadow of robbie royce for years and now he's crawled back to it he's probably hiding behind robbie royce now because he knows tyler colton's got his number he probably knows the safest place for him to be right now is out amongst all these people where tyler colton i have get been an outspoken critic of atm for years absolutely for years but like, look, there's a different look on his face right now, and there's a different confidence to the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce. I think we're seeing tag team history in the making as Team Impact goes now to work on Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible holding on and bailing out, and Scorpio is still in the ring, and he, oh, he just levels ATM and tosses him out of the ring. And here comes Robbie Royce. Robbie Royce wow. dumps the clothesline from Antonio Scorpio and flattens Mr. Incredible and ATM now back in the ring. Chaos is ensuing so far. ATM with a tremendous elbow to Antonio Scorpio. And ladies and gentlemen, this is one episode of CWE Wrestling for the history books. And the tag has been made. We are officially underway. And Robbie Royce now in the ring working over Antonio Scorpio, one half of pain and punishment. It has been years since Team Impact has graced a CWE ring. And I got to say, I do not think they're going to be on the same page. I don't think they're going to be the, the well-oiled machine they once were. That's a lot of time, a lot of miles, like you said, Dave Petro, between their last appearance. They're going to fall apart. They're going to crumble. Pain and Punishment is going to chew them up and spit them out here. The Pain and Punishment, yeah, they're, they're a team. They're a well-oiled machine, as you said. And there has been a lot, a lot of years between Team Impact matches, that's for sure. But ATM... Basically, winning over a lot of love of the fans here in the CWE, especially, you know, less than 15 minutes ago, helping Scott Steiner win the, the television championship. Has this guy completely turned over a new leaf, Kevin Cannon? I got to think we're seeing a different ATM than what we're used to, Dave Petro. Robbie Royce, though. Robbie Royce will take advantage of that. Robbie Royce is a... Uh, uh, a, a guy who's a user. I don't think so. Yeah, he's using I don't ATM. think so. He's using ATM's gullibility and naivete right now. If anything, Robbie Royce can be guilty of is being perhaps a guy that just can bite off more than he can chew at times. And I thought this was a situation that that might have been the case. But he found himself a partner and he's dug deep into the into his past, if you will, and reformed one of our most highly successful teams in all of professional wrestling, Team Impact. And Robbie Royce just dug deep down between the legs of Mr. Incredible. That is a low blow. That is not called for. But Mr. Incredible hitting a big leg as Robbie Royce comes rushing in to try to capitalize on the prone Mr. Incredible. Absolutely. Now Mr. Incredible lifting him up. Big body slam coming up. Can he hold? Oh, he holds him. He holds him. Oh, and hard right down to the canvas. And here's where the youth and the, the athleticism of these two gentlemen is going to come into play 
to give him an advantage over Robbie Royce, to give him an advantage over Anderson Tyson Moore. A blatant choke by Mr. Incredible. The referee calls for the break. The count of five. The referee is still trying to get his marbles back together. And Robbie Royce rakes the eyes. Yeah, he does. Not afraid to bend the rules. That's breaking them. That's that's illegal. That's not called. Isn't kind of like the pot un calling the kettle black? Isn't that the Cannon Cartel motto, the mantra? Win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. Well, it's only cheating if you get caught. And Robbie Royce did it right in front of the referee. ATM now in the ring, going to work on Mr. Incredible. Whip into the ropes. Drop kick. Textbook drop kick. Wow. What elevation? And you heard the collision of boot to face there. That was loud. Scorpio in to break up the pin now. I am completely shocked. I did not think that we see the formulation of this tag team again, especially against these two tough opponents. Pain and punishment. Mr. Incredible in the ring. Antonio Scorpio, his tag team partner. Tag is made. Robbie Royce back in the ring. Irish whip reversal. Oh, look at this. Double reversal. And wow, fisherman suplex down. Side suplex down, rather. Scorpio crawling over to the other side of that ring apron, just reaching for that tag, wanting his partner to get up. Scorpio, no, oh, but there's something else he can do there. Just shoves Robbie Royce off that top turn. He button. certainly did. Antonio Scorpio, man, it was yet to be tagged in, and now the tag has been made. Antonio Scorpio into the ring and going over to work over the pissed off pit bull, Robbie Royce. Robbie Royce, a veteran of so many years in the world of professional wrestling, so many championships, so many miles. And now, revisiting his past, teaming with ATM as they take on the big tag team of pain and punishment right now in the ring with Antonio Scorpio. Scorpio delivering a tough chop to the chest of the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce. Robbie Royce not standing for that, returns the favor. Hard chop of his own, uppercut from the southpaw, the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce. Robbie Royce trying to prove that he still has what it takes to hang with some of the young studs here in CWE. Guys like Mr. Incredible, guys like Antonio Scorpio. Robbie Royce definitely getting up there, getting long in the tooth, if you will, Dave Petro. I don't think so. I don't think he's long in the tooth at all. I think the best years are still ahead of the pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce, a veteran of so many championships, yeah, his so best many years matches. Is a grandfather. I don't think that's true at all. The man is in tip top physical shape, Kevin Cannon. Speaking of tip-top physical shape, Mr. Incredible now and Antonio Scorpio, pain and punishment. These two guys, from what I understand, spending four or five hours a day in the gym, working out on weights, and another four or five hours a day in the ring, perfecting their tag team maneuvers. Do you know what I saw them do at a local training facility, Dave Petro? What's that? Somebody had parked their vehicle in a spot that is known to be pain and punishment's parking spot. Oh, yeah. They pulled up on the road. They got out. Mr. Incredible grabbed the front bumper. Antonio Scorpio got the back bumper. They lifted that car up and they moved it onto the street. No problem. And that, that was before they even started working out. That was the, like their warm up for a workout. Too strong. Moving a vehicle, lifting and moving a vehicle between these two men. Two strong dudes. Pain and, and punishment. Antonio Scorpio now taking a hard boot right to the side of the head. Comes back for more and greeted with an elbow by Robbie Royce. And Robbie Royce now coming up with a flying inverted DVD. No, pushed up by Scorpio. Oh, and Scorpio gets a clothesline for good measure. Both men are down. Absolutely. ATM wanting the tag. The pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce back to his feet. Makes the tag. Here comes ATM. Oh, comes back with a hard right hand. Another hard right hand. Scorpio down. Gives one to Mr. Incredible for just for laughs. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, look at that. What do you even call that? I don't know, but it took him off his feet and brought him down to the mat. It got him a two count. Referee count two there. A ATM is on fire right I'm now. I'm seeing something in his eyes I have seen, haven't seen in a long, long time. He seems to be having fun in that ring, but he just gets his throat draped across that top rope by Mr. Incredible. The tide has now turned. Mr. Incredible dragging him out and slamming ATM hard on the arena floor. And Scorpio comes off with a big boot. Good grief. The referee's back is turned as Robbie Royce doesn't want to stand for this tomfoolery anymore. I think our wrestlers in the main event are going to have to watch for that ATM-shaped crater in the floor now from being slammed down by Mr. Incredible there. Speaking of main event, hot shot Danny Duggan defending the CWE Championship against the zombie princess Jimmy Jacobs. That's our main event still to come tonight. The Royal, uh, pardon me, the Rumble to Remember winner, Jimmy Jacobs, 
A man who outlasted 49 men to earn this title shot. And the man is focused. He's been tormenting hot shot Danny Duggan for weeks and weeks. In fact, may even still have the CWE belt in his possession, although he is not the champion. Who knows where that title has ended up. Oh, oh wow, Mr. Incredible. Hard. Wow! Right back to Scorpio, and Scorpio just tosses him over his head. He certainly ATM did. ATM is down and out. Good grief, ladies and gentlemen. What a match so far. This has got to be it. Too. No. And that I think that's maybe what you said earlier, Kevin Cannon. Perhaps the miles, the years between Team Impact teaming, maybe it's cost them a little bit when it comes to teamwork right now. We're seeing some of the results as ATM just gets a hard right hand from the big man. Mr. Incredible now getting choked in the corner. Referee calling for the break. I don't know if Robbie Royce has recovered from all the time he spent in the match during the, the, the early parts of, of this contest. Certainly has seemed to have lost a little spring in his step as ATM goes hard into the turnbuckles and we may see the, the Black, Black Hammer. Hammer. Oh, good grief. Oh, no. ATM with the semblance of mind to thwart the Black Hammer attempt, lifting his feet into the face of Mr. Incredible. And listen to this crowd. They are on their feet. They are cheering. They are hooping. They are hollering. They want ATM to make the tag. They want to see the pissed off Pitbull Robbie Royce in the ring. What is ATM doing? Why is he not trying to make the tag? See, this is it. This is where they're their cohesiveness as a tag team does not come into play here. Up and over and misses with that moonsault attempt. Oh, an ATM. I have yet to see. Oh, wow. What mobility delivers a drop kick and then a spring up. I did not know that Mr. Incredible was that agile. He's like a cat, like he a certainly panther. Is. He certainly is, Kevin Cannon. Mr. Incredible now, he has ATM flat on his back. He's telling the referee he better count a little quicker here. What a match so far. What action we are seeing, we are witnessing in this tag team match. ATM. Pissed off Pitbull Robbie Royce. Taking on pain and punishment. Mr. Incredible now going to work. Continuing to work over ATM, who is in the middle of the mat, middle of the ring. He needs to make a tag, he's been in there for the greater part of at least five or six minutes while Robbie Royce, he, he's just clinging to the leg of Mr. Incredible. He is out of breath, he is winded, he is hurt. He needs to make the tag, Kevin Cannon. He can barely get to his own two feet. Mr. Incredible is gonna have his way with him here. Oh, oh, he just delivered a super kick, perhaps out of instinct. And look at this, look at this, Mr. Incredible almost. The big old tree is teetering. He is teetering. He is in his corner. He could make a tag to Antonio Scorpio before ATM is able to get back over to this corner. And he does. And he's no, good. he's convulsing a little bit. Or no, oh, he's down. The big man is down. He could not make that tag. Oh, and Scorpio, he needs to get in there. Scorpio needs to get in there and put this match away. He certainly does. ATM barely able to stand. I don't even know if he is able to stand, to be honest. He needs to make the tag. Robbie Royce, he does. Drop it on the he does. And he Listen to this crowd. Scorpio in too. He's fired up. He's taking on both men. Close line to Scorpio. Knee to the guts of Mr. Incredible. Look out, Robbie. Scorpio now, he is hurt. And look at this. The pissed off pit bull Robbie Royce. He is in the corner. He is ready to go. Oh, he pulls the referee. Did you see that, Kevin Cannon? That poor referee. <laughs> he got it again. He gets right. the referee out of the way. He's trying to wake him up. Michael Draven is, is he out cold again? He's got such bad luck so far. Uh oh, look at Scorpio from behind. He got the referee. I'd hate to be the referee's insurance provider. Oh my word. And now Scorpio trying to pick up the referee. Trying to wake him up. ATM. Oh, he just kicked Michael Draven right in the mush. Wow, he is out cold. Certainly is. Scorpio now working over both members of Team Impact. And look at that. Team Impact able to recover. Slamming down Antonio Scorpio. But I think ATM, sorry, Mr. Crow might be the legal man. But that legal man or not, he just got pasted as well.
Exactly. Both members of Pain and Punishment are on their backs right now. Both members of Team Impact are standing. Oh, look at this! Here's Tyler Colton. Tyler Colton! Paying him back. Still smarting from the loss of the champion, the 1 2 3 Blue Television champion. He pulled out Robbie Royce, and now he's fighting with his former partner, ATM, the man who cost Tyler Colton the television championship earlier on. And look at this. Robbie Royce now, the Black Hammer, has oh, been he's got unleashed. that dog chain. He just hit him with that dog chain wrapped around the fist, and the referee is still out, but he is showing some signs of life, and Antonio Scorpio has picked that referee out, up, and now, one, two, come on, and three. and three, that is it, he's done, he, that is it, Antonio Scorpio pick, picking the referee up, and Mr. Incredible hitting the pissed off Pitbull Robbie Royce with his own dog chain. And ladies and gentlemen, I remember he was barely able to count the three, but he counted it. Tyler Colton distracted. ATM, the other half of Team Impact. And ladies and gentlemen, the two men you are looking at standing in the ring. They gain the win, they gain the pin. Pain and punishment, victorious over Team Impact. And I can't say that we've seen the last of this feud, Kevin Cannon. No, but the feud that might come to an end tonight, Danny Duggan, Jimmy Jacobs, that's up next. They have wrapped that ring around there. We've got to take a break there, just taunting Robbie Royce. When we come back, CWE Championship on the line. Wrestling fans, when in Gladstone, stay at the beautiful and historical Gladstone Hotel, a proud sponsor of the CWE. I go to Muscles by Myers because I trust them. The staff is phenomenal. You come in, they're always positive, they're always happy to see you. I walked in there not knowing a thing about supplements and the staff there showed me everything I need to know. I lost about 40 pounds and then put on about 10 pounds of muscle. I've gotten stronger, I have more energy. I go to Muscles My Myers because they offer great advice, competitive pricing, and they care about helping you achieve your goals. If I can do it, you can do it. Wrestling fans get set. The Fear Factor Tour is coming to a town near you featuring the Darewolf, Justin Gabriel. Monday night, June the 22nd, the CWE returns to Steinbeck, Manitoba. And for the very first time, Gimli, Manitoba, Tuesday night, June the 23rd, you will see all the stars of the CWE. Yorkton, Saskatchewan gets set. Wednesday night, June the 24th, the CWE returns. Souris, Manitoba, Thursday night, June the 25th, welcomes the CWE and the big one, Friday night, June the 26th, Holy Cross Gymnasium, Winnipeg, Manitoba. You will see a new CWE champion get crowned. For details on all these dates, go to cwecanada.ca. Back in the locker room area with Hotshot Danny Duggan, CWE champion, defending that championship against the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. These are the matches I wake up for in the morning, Dave Petro. Getting in the ring with the very best in CWE and showing why I'm the best wrestler in Canada today. Jimmy Jacobs, this is personal, this is professional, and you've got something of mine. You've got the CWE Championship, belt that I had to work very hard to win. But tonight, we're gonna get in that ring and I'm gonna beat you from pillar to post and take back that CWE Championship and keep on doing what I do and as being the very best in Canadian wrestling's elite. Championship on the line, Duggan Jacobs. That's up next.
This match brought to you by... Travel Lodge, Winnipeg East, located at 20 Alpine Avenue. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling Main Event Time. Kevin Cannon, the Zombie Princess, Jimmy Jacobs, the man who earned an opportunity to face Hotshot Danny Duggan by winning the 50-man Rumble to remember. He is in the ring. He is in possession of that championship belt, but he is not the champion. Not officially, but at the end of this match, he will be. He very possession. well might be, but he has to earn it in the ring and not just steal it like he's been doing. Dave Petro, Danny Duggan has faced numerous, dozens, if not hundreds of opponents over the past year or two. And I gotta say, nobody has gotten into his head the way Jimmy Jacobs has. You're absolutely correct because, you know, I had an opportunity to speak to Hotshot Danny Duggan in the locker room area just a couple of hours before we went to broadcast. And I've never seen Hotshot Danny Duggan so distracted in all my life. This is a guy that wrestles all over the world, has to keep playing connections, has to keep hotel connections, has to keep opponents, files on opponents. The man is focused, but not anymore, Kevin no, Cannon. No, now all he's worried about is Jimmy Jacobs. All he's worried about is what is Jimmy Jacobs going to be there? What's he doing? Where is he going? Is he going to steal from him? Is he going to take the belt? Is he going to attack him? Is he going to sneak up on him? It's always something with J Jimmy Jacobs and Danny Duggan. And tonight, it comes to an end. This is a man, hotshot Danny Duggan, that basically has a anytime, anywhere attitude against anybody. Speaking of which, he brought a contract with him, an open contract, because he knows Shane Madison will be in the building tonight. He brought that, he said, win, lose, or draw. Shane Madison, come sign this contract. And Shane Madison, a man that has been kind of discreet so far right here in the last little while in the CWE, still, still playing a bit of mind games with Hotshot Danny Duggan. That can't be good for his concentration. You've got the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs, basically stealing from you, stealing your championship belt, and you got to keep one eye looking for Shane Madison. I don't know that I've even seen Shane Madison in the building today, to be honest. Maybe he didn't even come here. Maybe he'll send a representative, maybe a, a lawyer or a manager or something to come down and sign that contract You're absolutely for right. He wasn't in the locker room area, and I was basically trying to get a few pre-match words from both competitors, but as I said before, hotshot Danny Duggan is so distracted as of late, it's going to be wonder if he can put together a, championship, a successful title offense against the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs, and he wants his belt back, Kevin Cannon. What a childish act on the part of Danny Duggan snatching that belt away from Jimmy Jacobs. And Jimmy Jacobs just starts going to work, and Danny Duggan firing right back. We are underway. Championship match. CWE title on the line. Hotshot Danny Duggan against the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. And Hotshot Danny Duggan is coming out like a ball on fire. Big send on right down to the chest. Jimmy Jacobs going for an early pin, but Jimmy Jacobs gets up quickly and pushes Danny Duggan into that corner. Oh, and Jimmy Jacobs now with a hard right hand may have hurt his fist on the top of the head of the hotshot Danny Duggan, our CWE champion. Irish whip reversed by hotshot Danny Duggan. Jimmy Jacobs hard into the turnbuckles, and Danny Duggan comes back with a tremendous elbow. Nowhere for Jimmy Jacobs to go, and then a bulldog right in the middle of the ring. These guys do not like each other one They bit. don't. And as a result, they are just going full tilt the second they got into this ring against one another. Whip into the ropes. Jimmy Jacobs kind of somersaults his way over there. Look at this. Head Big scissors head attempt. Look at this. Oh, it takes over. Hot shot, Danny Duggan. Danny Duggan outside of the ring apron area. Oh, and Jimmy Jacobs comes back right through the ropes. And on to Hot Shot Danny Duggan, both men on the arena floor. These guys aren't going to last that long going at this rate. These guys are going to kill one another before we get a winner here, Dave Petro. Absolutely correct. Jimmy Jacobs, the zombie princess, the man who's been a thorn in Hot Shot Danny Duggan's side for oh so many months here in the CWE. He's now up in the ring apron, comes back with a big elbow right on the chest, close to the neck area of Danny Duggan. But it looks like Hot Shot Dan or sorry, the zombie princess Jimmy Jacobs may have injured his hip or something on that. Yeah, I don't think he cares how badly he hurts himself in this matchup. All he wants to do is beat Danny Duggan. One, two, three in the middle of the ring here. And he'll do anything to accomplish that. When you want to win a championship, you throw your body on the line. And we're seeing that so far with the zombie princess Jimmy Jacobs. Now with a front face lock on hot shot Danny Duggan. The pride of Falcon Beach, Manitoba. Your CWE champion, the man with the impressive pedigree all over Canada, all over the United States, Mexico, overseas. The man has done it all so far and continues to do so. And he's just a victim of a tremendous maneuver 
by Jimmy Jacobs, who now may climb to the top rope, Kevin Cannon. Jimmy Jacobs is looking to put this one away, going up to the top rope. I don't know what he's going for here. Maybe a foot stop, maybe a knee drop, maybe an elbow. Jimmy Jacobs down. Oh, looking for that. Wow, big sent on down onto Danny Duggan. It hooks the leg for the pin, and it's only a two count. Hot shot Danny Duggan, the man. He's defended that gold all over the CWE, and now just a victim of basically some mind games by the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Who's grounding Danny Duggan's head, hand, pardon me, into the mat. Wow! Oh, comes back with a chop with authority. Another one. The fans are appreciative of the action, but Jimmy Jacobs won't, won't be deterred. Big back body drop. Wow, and Jimmy Jacobs launched into the rafters with that one. Being eyed up, being measured up by Danny Duggan, and Jimmy Jacobs assembles the mind to step out of the way. And look at this suplex. We've seen Jimmy Jacobs do that before. Propelling hot shot Danny Duggan right across the ring and rolls him up and gets a two count on the champion. Jimmy Jacobs and Danny Duggan just staying on top of one another here, not taking any rest, not taking any breaks, just doing what they can to wear the other one out, to beat the other one down, to get the win over their opponent and walk away as the champ. Championship gold on the line, television main event. Hot shot Danny Duggan defending against the man who earned his opportunity by beating 49 other men several months back at the Rumble to remember the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. This man has done a lot in his career in the world of professional wrestling, Ring of Honor star all over the United States. Television. See this guy on television all the time. Absolutely. And now, Jimmy Jacobs has signed with WWE. He has. So if he wins the championship here, what's going to happen? Is he going to take it with him, defend it there? I don't, I don't know. See the CWE championship perhaps being defended in the WWE, Kevin Cannon? It's a possibility. I don't know. I can only speculate. But he has to win that championship first. So sure let's not does. get ahead of ourselves. No, we're going to put the apple before the court. Cart, and here comes Jimmy Jacobs now, holding his mouth. He got a couple of tremendous chops, and a big victim so far. He's going right up to the top. Hot shot, Danny Duggan on the mat. Look out, Danny! Here comes Jimmy Jacobs. Oh, he gets the oh, knees up. Wow! Right into the small of the back of the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. Danny Duggan needs to get to his feet to capitalize on this opportunity. Kevin Cannon. That will rearrange your vertebrae. Holy! Certainly will. Sir Inley will. Dan Duggan looks like he's looking for a tag there. There's nobody to tag. No, he's trying to maybe get pull, use the second rope to pull himself up. Hot shot, Danny Duggan. So far, holding his own up to the top. Ducks the clothesline from Jimmy Jacobs. Comes back with a clothesline of his own. Oh, what a drop kick. What elevation, Kevin Cannon. Wow, does he ever get some height on those. And look at this. Big fisherman's. Oh, he got down. him. He got him. Jimmy Jacobs now. Danny Duggan overhooks the leg. One, two. Successful title defense. No. Noticeable by his absence. Referee Michael Draven has the rest oh. of the evening off. Dave no Petro. <laughs> I sure you see. He must be checking into a local medical facility after the pain he's endured so far tonight. Although Alan Daniels, very capable in the referee department. Absolutely. Now Jimmy Jacobs looking for that hurricane suplex. No. Wow. wow. Right into the turnbuckles. And then oh. he landed on his head, he landed on his knee. Wow, Jimmy Jacobs is sustaining all kind of damage as a result of that one maneuver. As you said, referee Alan Daniels checking on Jimmy Jacobs now. One, two, he's able to kick out. But I think some of the damage has been done. Jimmy Jacobs hard into those turnbuckles and holding his knee. And now his head hard into that turnbuckle. Not much panning there, Kevin Cannon. Tremendous chop by Hotshot Danny Duggan. Forearm, elbows, another big chop, elbow, chop. Danny Duggan taking it to Jimmy Jacobs. I don't think Jimmy Jacobs can defend himself. Danny Duggan doing everything he can to injure, to end. Wow! And Jimmy Jacobs playing a little possum there. Launches Dan, or Jimmy Jacobs, pardon me, uh, launches Danny Duggan over the rope and launches himself. Over oh, the both there on the arena floor. He got, caught him in midair, Kevin Cannon. And slammed him down to the mat. And hot shot Danny Duggan. Oh, there's no mat. Pardon me, that's down to the arena floor, Dave Absolutely, Petro. right into the CWE event center floor. And now both men outside the ring. The referee has the count. Danny Duggan, Jimmy Jacobs, both men taking a tremendous amount of punishment so far in this matchup. I don't know what to think, Kevin Cannon. So far, evenly matched up. But Danny Duggan now with the opportunity to finish off the wounded, the weakened Jimmy Jacobs. And he delivers a chop as Jimmy Jacobs perches himself on one of the ringside chairs. Oh, and Danny Duggan has no issue knocking him right off of that chair that he's perched himself up on. Danny Duggan now breaking up the referee's count. A smart maneuver. 
Jimmy Jacobs on the outside of the ring still. Danny Duggan though picking him back up. And where's he toss him to? Oh, right into another chair, right amongst these fans here at ringside. The fans are loving this right now. Hot shot Danny Duggan on his way to a successful title defense as he defends against Jimmy Jacobs. And it's all Danny Duggan right now, Kevin Cannon. Oh no! Oh no, Jimmy Jacobs firing back. Jimmy Jacobs now carrying Danny Duggan over. We gotta take a commercial break, Dave Petro. We'll be right back as the conclusion of this match. Welcome back to CWE Wrestling. Both men back into the ring. Dave Petro, Kevin Cannon, ringside. Hot shot, Danny Duggan, the CWE champion, going up to the top. Jimmy Jacobs now pulls the referee, holding on for dear life. Oh, and the referee just got creamed. Today is not a good day to be a CWE official. The referee is out. Absolutely out. And what is Jimmy Jacobs doing? Is he signaling for a chair? And the fan gave him a chair. <laughs> what is this young What the thinking? world is going on around here? No referee. Ducks the chair. Danny Duggan. Oh, good grief. I don't think I've ever seen him get somebody up that high for a cruel summer in my life. That should be it, but the referee is out. Out! We need a new referee, but I don't think we have one. Uh, I'm not going in there and counting the pin. Forget it. Danny Duggan, frustrated, doesn't know what to do. Jimmy Jacobs is out. The referee is out. And now Danny... Oh, look at oh, this! There he is. I knew he had to be here. Shane Madison now is in the ring. He's eyeing up. Hot shot Danny Duggan. Oh, and he just Down levels him. Big stunner. He is good grief. Oh. Jimmy Jacobs. Now the referee is coming to Shane Madison. One, two. Not this way. Danny Duggan oh, Danny able to kick, kick out. out though. Oh, thank goodness. But Shane Madison is still in the ring. Good grief, ladies and gentlemen. Shot Danny Duggan able to kick out at the count of two. And Shane Madison, Kevin Cannon is still in the ring. I don't think Danny Duggan's awake though. I think I think oh look at this. He just pitches the referee outside the ring. You're not gonna be able to do anything with that with the referee. No referee at whatsoever. I don't think he cares about this matchup though. I think all he cares about though is is signing that open contract and getting himself a match against Hot Shot Danny Duggan. And Shane Madison has the championship belt. And he is eyeing up hotshot Danny Duggan. Oh, but he just creams the zombie princess. Jimmy Jacobs, drop kick. Shane Madison bailing out of the ring. And Danny oh. Duggan making the cover now, but... But there's no referee, Kevin Cannon. There's not one in sight. We are almost out of referees. Oh! Oh, he didn't go to the he, hospital. No, he didn't. One, two. Oh, and and Jimmy. Jimmy Jacobs kicks out of the count of two, Kevin Cannon. And if it had taken even a second quicker... I think Jimmy Jacobs would have been pinned. This match would have been over. Danny Duggan will be leaving right now. Danny Duggan now picking Jimmy Jacobs back up. Shane Madison hurt on the other side of the ring after that big drop kick from Danny Duggan. Perches him up to the top turnbuckle. Hot shot Danny Duggan. He's going to take him on, back in the ring the hard way. But Jimmy Jacobs has raking the eyes of hot shot Danny Duggan, the CWE champion. And he gets him up. Oh, wow, and he flips him right over. Certainly did. Good but, grief. One. Two. Two. Oh, and Danny Duggan able to kick out of the count of two. Shane Madison can't believe it. The fans can't believe it. Jimmy Jacobs was ready to celebrate there. He jumped up with his arms in the air and realized that that was two and seven eighths, two and nine tenths. We've seen everything in this match so far, Kevin Cannon, except the winner. But Jimmy Jacobs now back, getting back to his feet. He looks like he's fit to be tied. Throwing a bit of a fit in the corner. He's frustrated. He's angry. Hot shot Danny Duggan able to get back to his feet, pulling himself up. He's taken a tremendous amount of punishment so far. And oh, another, wow. another. Cruel summer. One, two, and the referee is pulled out again by Shane Madison. And that man <laughs> just drilled on the arena floor. What in the world is going on, Kevin? There's no law and order. Danny Duggan landing a big drop kick on Shane Madison outside the ring. Danny Duggan now turning his attention to Shane Madison and just leveling him on the outside of that ring. Shane Madison is the recipient, and he's hard into the post. 
but Danny Duggan is allowing Jimmy Jacobs some time to recover. He's not focusing on the matter at hand, I think, in my, in my opinion. And now he's back into the ring, and Jimmy Jacobs, and there's no referee to see that low blow. And now Shane Madison just pasted hotshot Danny Duggan with a CWE Championship belt. And is he calling for another chair? He's calling oh, for the referee, the referee to get back up. The original referee, Alan Daniels, who's been maimed so far, and he just got speared. And Alan, da Alan Daniels now back into the Come ring. On, this Daniels, is not good. Go. One, One, two. two. And three. That's it. We, we have, have a new champion, Kevin. Well, Kevin. we knew all along Jimmy Jacobs was the rightful CWE champion. Now it's just no, official. No, we did not. Now it's just official. This is disgraceful. I can't believe this. Shane this Madison. is a miscarriage of justice. Shane Madison sliding that championship belt over to Jimmy Jacobs. And look at how elated Jimmy Jacobs is. Look at how happy he is. Look how jubilant he is. The depths that Shane Madison would crawl to to, to inflict harm and to strip hotshot Danny Duggan of that championship belt. That is absolutely disgusting. We have a new champion, the zombie princess, Jimmy Jacobs. I can't wait to go to the spike with Jimmy Jacobs tonight. <laughs> We're going to have a blast. And Shane Madison now, he is proud as a peacock. He was basically trash talking. And now Hot he's got to sign Danny that, Duggan. that and open yeah. contract, eh, Petro? He's, that's what, we know what's going to happen there. Yeah, he's going to sign that. And they're going to line that match up. Shane Madison cheated his way to an opportunity. And this is just disgraceful, Kevin Cannon. Just absolutely disgraceful. I don't know what to say. I've seen a lot of things in the world of professional wrestling in my career. Win, lose, or draw to Jimmy Jacobs. If you want to fight, let's fight. Did I just hear what I just heard? It's calling out Shane Madison. Shane and Madison has been challenged I'll, to a fight. I think there's not a person in here that doesn't want to see that either. You're absolutely correct. Including myself. This should be good. Shane Madison back in the ring, and this is not good for a man who's absorbed a tremendous beating so far. Hot shot Danny Duggan. And Danny Duggan's struggling to get back to his feet, but he basically challenged Shane Madison to get back in the ring. And the Mecca and the hot shot will go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, right in the middle of the ring. And he's saying, whoa, Shane Madison's saying, whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world is up his sleeve? He's what? giving Danny Duggan a fighting chance, that's all. He is begging for mercy, pleading with, with hotshot Danny Duggan. That is just, I smell something here. Something is cooking, and, and there it is. Oh, my God. That man is not a member of the CWE roster. He has never been a member of the CWE roster. That's outlaw Adam Knight, one of the biggest veterans in Mad Triple Wrestling. Wow. Biggest both in stature and in physical size. He doesn't belong here. He's not with our organization. But if he signs that open contract, it's his day, Petro. We're out of time. What is going to happen? <laughs> I'm lost for words, Kevin Cannon. On behalf of everyone here at CWE, good night.